Hey everyone, Lovely Moon Bunny here, and today I'm doing something a little different. For the longest time, I have wanted to bring anime to the channel because I love anime so much. It's a big part of my life. As you can see, I have some little anime things on the set behind me. There's some things that I brought from home because I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited for this. Um, I thought that for the very first episode, the perfect thing to do would be to open something Sailor Moon themed because if you guys have ever seen any of my social media or my personal channel or anything like that, or you know, seen me in my Sailor Moon shirts, you know that I love Sailor Moon. It is the very first anime that I ever watched. I mean, I think I was like, I don't even know. I think I was like five. I've been watching Sailor Moon since I can remember. And so I'm super excited to be opening these Sailor Moon figures. And this is something new to the channel. Also, we have never opened these and I have two, of course, because I couldn't just do Sailor Moon. I have to do Sailor Chibi Moon too, because Sailor Chibi Moon is my absolute favorite Sailor Scout. I'm gonna open Sailor Moon first, and I got these on Amazon. Uh, Sailor Moon was, I believe, $43.99, and Chibi Moon was $33.99. Uh, so we'll leave the links to those below so you guys can see them. I love these posable figures, and I love the little chibi style so much. Uh, if you're not familiar with Nindroids, these are very similar to them, and I actually believe that they're interchangeable with the Nindroid pieces also, which I brought a couple of my Nindroids so that we can test that out. Uh, but these are not Nindroids. This is um, by Mega House. I believe they're called Petite Chara. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they're not Nindroids. So they're very similar, um, but I do wanna kind of compare the two also so we can see what we think between the two of them. Uh, so here is the box and how everything comes. Let's go ahead and get it open. There's tape on everything. Hopefully pieces don't fly everywhere. So we have her little base that she stands on. We have the little stand, which is bendable. We have Sailor Moon. She looks adorable, guys. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute. And the reason I actually went with getting the Petit Chara uh, DX is what it says on the box, um, is because Nindroid, I couldn't find any Sailor Moon characters that Nindroid had made because I do really like Nindroid and I have a few of them. Uh, so if you guys know if there are any out there, let me know because I couldn't find them. Uh, let's go ahead and take the little hands. We got Luna here. We got the little, the little, her little wand. And oh, we got an extra face in here. Let's get all her arms out. Oh, yeah, that's usually what happens when I try to open these. There are all her little pieces, her different arms, the wand, Luna, face, and the extra face. Let's get Chibi Moon out of the box. She's my favorite. Here she is. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for her, guys. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get her out of here. So there she is. Let's take her out. Oh my gosh, her little butt. <laughs> her pigtails are so cute, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, so let's put her aside, get her base out, her other face which I think I'm probably gonna change it to because I like the little winky face. We got Luna P as the little extra character in here. Her wand, her extra arms. And I'm not, I'm not too positive what, I'm not positive what this is. Here are all the pieces that she comes with. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys how you change the faces out because it's really cool. That's what I like about these so much is they're very posable and they can have a lot of different expressions and emotions and it's really cute. So first of all, I just wanna say both of these look really great. The paint on them looks awesome. I love that it's this like matte finish and I like the little like gradient in their bangs 
and on their buns and pigtails. I was a little worried on the Chibi Moon one because the Amazon reviews for this one weren't that great, but there weren't very many either. <laughs> so I was kind of unsure and a little nervous about ordering it, but I mean, it looks really good to me and everything seems to be holding together really well. They both look really good and they're really cute guys. Oh my gosh. I'm just, <laughs> they're so cute. This pin mission was brought to you in the name of the moon. This Sailor Moon rainbow transformation pin by Candy Corpse will have a place in any magical girl or boy's heart. The soft enamel rainbow effect makes each pin unique. It's time to show off that you're a true fan. Links in the description. The way that you change the face on these is you just, you just pull off the front of their hair. <laughs> you just take your little bangs off <laughs> and then you will have the face piece and you can just whoop, pop that off. There it is. And you leave that piece in there and then you'll just take your other face. Okay, there we go. Now she's got a little winking face. How cute. And then let's go ahead and change one of her arms. And so all the pieces just kind of pop off. I always get really nervous the first time I take an arm off or something like that, but it just kind of wiggles off. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not positive how to put her wand in her hand because it doesn't fit in there. It doesn't squeeze in. I thought maybe the top of the wand would come off. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with that on one of my other Nindoroids. But the top of the wand is not coming off, as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to give her a little peace sign, because, I don't know, that's weird. I can't seem to figure out how you're supposed to put the wand in her hand. <laughs> this is so weird, taking this thing apart, like just pulling the pieces off. <laughs> and there we go. That's like her signature pose right there. That's super cute. So there we go, she is on her stand. The one thing I do wish also is that there was a way to display Luna P next to her because she doesn't sit, like she just rolls away and there's no, there's, I wish there was like a little stand or something that she could plug into so she could be like floating next to her. I think that would have been really cute. But other than that, I really like her. She looks super cute. So let's get Sailor Moon into a pose also and put them next to each other because they're, they're both so cute. So I was actually able to get Sailor Moon's wand into her hand because it's a little bit thinner at a certain point of the wand and it was able to just squeeze right in, which is I think what Sailor Chibi Moon's wand is supposed to do also. Uh, but I just was struggling with it. So I decided to not worry about it, but I got her wand in her hand. So let's go ahead and put her on her base. So here we have it guys. They are both in new poses. These are so, I just think these are so interesting uh, that you can pose them so much that you can change the facial features and even if you get other characters then you can like interchange faces and stuff like that to make a whole customizable character if you wanted to so that's what I like so much about these I will show you the nindroids that I have I didn't bring all the pieces for them uh, but I will say that they're pretty similar um, I do think that the nindroids sometimes seem to have a little bit more detail in them. Uh, here is Sakura from Card Captor Sakura, and she is so adorable. I just got this one recently. That is the act, that's, this is an actual Nindroid, and so is Asuna from Sword Art, and this is one of the ones that comes with all the different faces and arms, and Nindroids do usually come with a little bit more as far as maybe accessories or faces. She came with two different faces for this one. And I think she had uh, maybe the same amount of arms. I'm not positive. I'll find a picture and put it on here so you guys can see all the different pieces that she comes with. But I do think it is more when it comes to the Nindroids. They are different in their own rights, but I think both of them are really cute. One thing, one last thing I wanted to test was just if you can interchange the faces. Uh, I, that's all I had brought with me was extra faces. Or I guess I could take an arm off one of these guys. But I wanted to see that really quick. So since I already took Chibi Moon's 
hair off. I guess we can just use her and see if we can interchange the face. Okay, so I did get it to work, but going from the Petite Chara Mega House one, this Chibi Moon face, onto the Nindroid, I made it work. Um, so here is Sakura with Chibi Moon's face. So that does work, but I can't seem to figure out because when I put this on Chibi Moon's body, I'll show you guys, um, it just looks kind of odd. It doesn't fit in there right. The neck doesn't work very, <laughs> the neck's not, it's just, it looks weird, guys. <laughs> this is not, that doesn't work. We did make this work. So it does work putting the Petite Chara faces onto the Nindroid. So we did figure that out. <laughs> I can't seem to figure out how to get it to work vice versa. Uh, but if I do figure that out in the future, I'll definitely let you guys know but that was a fun little experiment to see if it worked, which it did on one of them. So yeah, I mean, these guys are really cool. They're really interchangeable, really customizable, and you can get a lot of your favorite characters. They even make, Nindroid makes other things than just anime. They have some like Disney ones and Overwatch <laughs> characters. So they're really cool. And they, you guys should definitely check them out if you had not heard of them already. I do really love these petite Chara Mega House ones. This is the first time I've ever gotten them and I am very, very happy with them. I would definitely buy more, especially because there was Sailor Moon and I could not find Sailor Moon Nindroids. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this. I'm super excited to open more anime stuff with you guys. I'd also really like to just talk to you about some of my favorite shows, maybe do reviews about my favorite animes or do a first impressions, which is something I'd be really excited to do. I love anime, but I do not claim to be an expert on anime by any means. <laughs> there is so much that I have not seen and so much that I want to see. I have so many animes on my list to watch. I would love to get your suggestions, whether it be like your favorite anime or maybe one that you haven't watched yet and you, you're, it's on your list and you haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, leave them in the comments below because I'll definitely check them out and maybe I can watch like the first few episodes, sub and dub, and let you guys know what I think and if I'd watch it again. Maybe we can find a new favorite anime together because I'm always on the hunt for a new favorite anime, always. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We got to take apart <laughs> these figures, which is a little creepy when you're doing it, but a lot of fun. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please remember to give it a like, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified for our videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.